Hello everyone. So today I want to talk a little bit about um, how to create a um, web portfolio as a UX designer. So I have been doing a um, online one to one, -on -one mentorship um, called UX Coffee Hours um, with um, UX designers who are looking for internships or job change and seeking for any help or advice on how to make a better um, resume portfolio and interviewing tips and the question i got um asked very often uh actually pretty much every time uh, when i have this conversation is how can i make um my um web portfolio um real make it really how can i make a really good online portfolio and you know i think it is a common uh challenge no matter you are new to ux or you're trying looking for a job change and um, or career advancement you know a web portfolio is almost like a must-have um actually not almost but it is a must-have in today's uh industry i think it's actually one of the most important thing probably as a interviewer um to evaluate the skill set and whether you might be a good fit for this job um, by looking at your portfolio. So um, to focus on a couple of things, uh, you know, from my personal experience, um, having been both um, the interviewer side and the candidate side um, looking for an opportunity, um, I got to learn um, some tips and um, uh, suggestions how to make a uh, great online portfolio. So, um, you know, when I looked into, uh, when I first entered the UX field and it was really kind of scary to me, like I only have the so little experience. I've worked on quite um, pretty, um, the, my project ex experience is pretty limited, um, but how can I make something um, a online portfolio that can be very impressive and hopefully get me um, the first job as a UX designer. So um, today I want to share a couple of tips I have for you um, through the many years of experience, uh, you know, from looking um, and experiencing both from the interviewer side and the candidate side. Uh, the first thing I would love to share with you is to focus on the quality, not the quantity. So what I meant by um, qu quantity is, you know, um, you probably um, have the question when you start working on a web portfolio, how many projects should I put in here? And, and my um, advice um, to everyone here is always focus on the quality, not the quantity. All you need is um, no more than three projects. Of course, you can put as many as you want, um, but from a interviewer standpoint of view, um, you really don't need more than three uh, projects. Viewing a candidate's um, resume and portfolio is usually not gonna take more than 10 minutes. So um, keep it simple and concise and um, try to put the best of um, your work together and showcase the your skill set and your um, thinking process um, and especially make the first project um, the one you're most proud of and um, keep it simple concise and uh, that's um, i think the most important part so focus on the quality not the quantity So the next tip I have for you is be clear about what's your role and what's your involvement uh, in this specific project. So when you get into um, tell the story of a specific project you worked on, um, it's always, um, you know, sometimes people use the words we, you know, uh, we work on this project and um, to conduct the research and blah, blah, blah. But please, um, you know, Focus, use the words I instead of we. So be very clear about what's your role and what's your contribution to the project. Um, of course, we're always working in a team environment, but um, you know I think it's incredibly important when you're showcasing um, your project, highlight and clear, be clear on uh, what is specifically what's your role on this project and what's your contributions to the team. 
next tips I have is about storytelling. You know, so when we get into the actual project part and putting together the materials uh, about a project, um, it's always important to have a clear structure. There are different types of structure you can follow. And today I want to share about a structure I tend to follow called STAR. Um, so S-T-A-R. S, first of all, the S start, uh, stands for statement. You always want to start with a clear problem statement. Um, what is the problem you're solving? Or what is the challenge you have? So following that, the T stands for tasks. So what is the plan for this project? Um, and comes to the next one, A stands for actions. When you actually come into the design process, what are the actual actions have you taken? Um, what adjustment have you done? And the last, the R stands for results. So for example, when it comes to the result, you can um, always talk a little bit about data and business impact. For example, um, by optimizing the onboarding experience and taking it from 60 screens down to six screens, um, we were able to significantly improve the user engagement and acquired new users uh, by a certain percentage in, in three months, for example. So, you know, use data um, and make sh include any type of data measurement or testing results to, um, you know, as a conclusion of what you have done and at the end of the product. Okay. The next tip I have for you is to cover all the different skill sets and the portfolio. Um, you know, as a UX designer or product designer, no matter what job opportunity you're looking at, there is probably a couple of key skills that are commonly required uh, from storytelling, visual design, um, wireframing, or prototyping. So uh, when you put together the actual project, um, make sure that you touch those areas um, and showcase the best part of your skill. You know, um, I'll try to embed those um, skill sets um, into the story and always talk a little about um, what you have done, why you did that, and um, what is the impact. So for example, uh, created a mobile prototype when you are work building a mobile app for service, you can um, always talk, uh, show the prototype in a GIF or video clip and um, in a story, um, tell a little bit about it. For example, um, I created this um, uh, interactive prototype so we can use it for testing and learn about how users interact with it. Last tip I have for you is when you are working on a web portfolio, it is always nice to have a um, about me section. And you can, you know, besides the work, uh, the design works you showcasing, it adds a um, personal touch and also it's an opportunity for you to share a bit about who you are, uh, what you're interested in or what you're passionate about. At the end of the day, you know, um, it's from an interviewer side, an uh, ideal candidate is um, not only gonna be a great fit to the job requirement, but also someone that um, the team um, will be happy to work with. So that's pretty much all I have for today. Um, if you have any question or comment, uh, feel free to leave it here. Also, uh, if you're looking for more help on portfolio review or just general career advice, um, please feel free to take a look at uxcoffeehours.com. It is uh, purely a volunteer-based effort um, to help designers uh, in the UX community. So I would be happy to connect with you there. Um, talk to you next time. Bye.